Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as Ooh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as CA Reptiles. And today is going to be my Hurtmas Q&A video. So I asked you guys on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube to leave me your questions for this video. So we're gonna go through and answer all of them. So. Christmas is always spent here at home with my family and we kind of have the same routine every year. So we get up early in the morning, we do stockings, we eat breakfast, and then we spend the rest of the day opening presents and then we have dinner. That one's really easy. It's a blue tree monitor. They're my favorite monitor and in my top three wants for reptiles. So when I was little we got a dog from I think a humane society or something like that. Um, her name was Sadie Rose and she was too smart for her own good. Um, and then I think when I was four or five for Christmas my parents took me to an animal shelter and I got to pick out a kitten. Um, we ended up falling in love with two kittens though so we brought them both home. So we had Christy and Monty. Um, Christy unfortunately ended up having to be put to sleep last month, I think. It was, no, two months ago. Two months ago, um, old age, she was 19. So she's been around a long time. So this one's hard, but I think I'm gonna have to go with Kronk, my Doomworld's boa just because he's such a big hefty snake that it's kind of cool to handle him and he is very slow and laid back so he's a massive snake but you can also just sit and hang out with him. So some of the animals are getting new enclosures, some are getting bioactives and some are just getting kind of a makeover. So stay tuned for all those changes. If you wanna make sure not to miss out on those, um, hit that subscribe button. Super Dalmatians, especially ones that have red and white spots. Those would be like my dream crested gecko. Um, in my opinion, the best beginner lizards would be leopard geckos and crested geckos. You could probably also manage a bearded dragon or your mastix if you really, really made sure that your lighting and temperatures were on point. If it was like any pet of all the animals in the entire world, a red panda or Komodo dragon. Probably a red panda though. San Francisco garter, hands down. So I'm not because Arcadius is stunted. He probably won't get much bigger than he is now. So he's a very manageable size, even if he eventually did get kind of mean during breeding season, he's still a size that I can handle and easily manage. Most of my snakes are good for handling, um, especially Kronk, my numerals boa, and Snicket, my ball python. Um, they're both very good with handling. 
So it's Tootsie, my Sambo. It's a lot of my snakes. Crikey. Hands down, Crikey. Because of sharp claws, he's very fast, he's very strong, and he will try to bite you. So I don't really find any of my animals hard to care for, um, but if I had to choose, it'd kind of be a toss up between Eugene, my veiled chameleon, and Tinsel, my sunbeam snake. Um, Tinsel, because she is wild caught, they aren't readily bred in captivity, um, so there's not a whole lot of information on them and how to care for them. They don't tend to do well in captivity, and they are a fossorial snake, so they spend most of their time, well, they spend all of their time buried underground. So. Basically, all we've really got is you give them a tub of dirt, you feed them, and you keep handling to a minimum. So just the fact that they don't do well in captivity and there's not a ton of information makes them a little difficult. Um, and then I say chameleons because chameleons are super fragile, prone to stress, and don't handle um, like wrong care very well. Um, so I wouldn't have said Eugene before, but now that he's got some issues going on and we've been seeing some vets and not really having any answers, he is now on this list. So I always thought I was going to live in Memphis, Tennessee. I absolutely love Tennessee, but skating isn't quite as big in the south like there's not as many clubs so for that reason I'm kind of staying up north but like ideally anywhere with palm trees I would love to live I love 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 palm trees so much iguanas iguanas are my favorite Arcadius has been my favorite they're essentially like a scaly dog or cat. And there is a lot that goes into their care, but for me, that just makes it really fun. I'm um, to go with the two animals that I lost last year. Um, so Momo, my Peter's banded skink, and Yeti, my toe gecko, both were wild caught which is an issue, but the Peter's banded skinks are a lot like the sunbeams, so there's not a lot of information on them, they're not bred in captivity, and they're a lizard that likes to be buried all the time. So before I got Momo, I really wanted one, now that I've had Momo, I probably won't have one again. And then Toke geckos, I think they're absolutely beautiful, I do love them, but they're kind of scary. <laughs> like I'm okay with having an animal that I can't look at, or that I can't hold and touch, I'm okay with that, but I do want to be able to handle an animal in the event that I need to, such as like bringing it to the vet or traveling. Um, so I couldn't handle Yeti. I didn't want to force handle Yeti, and she kind of scared me a little bit. So um, I must say Toke Geckos. Like Craigie, I can throw on some gloves and I can manage. Yeti was a little intimidating. All right, so thank you to everyone that submitted questions. You guys are awesome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.